All right, man. Uh, let's talk some Detroit Lions. Let's switch the pace up real quick. Um, Detroit Lions, they've been having some news lately. Um, rookie safety Kirby Joseph has impressed the T-shirts, shorts, and helmet practice. He's really impressed, and they said he's ahead of the curve. Also, Aiden Hutchinson is making an unbelievable impact uh, already on his peers and coaches. So, uh, so I mean, uh, let's get to it. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. One of the dudes that you like, I think he was like a one-year starter at Illinois. So, not a lot of wear and tear on his body. Uh, but he said, Curry Joseph ahead of where the Lions thought he'd be. Um, he said, heading into the 2022 NFL draft, many, including myself, believe Detroit Lions would select the safety with one of their top three picks. Instead, the Lions end up using the fourth pick, number 97 overall, to select Kirby Joseph out of Illinois. With veterans Tracy Walker and Sean Elliott seeming, seeming, seemingly having the starting safety position a lot, most believe Joseph will, give, will be given an ample amount of time to develop before he was put into any pressure situations. <clears throat> well, that may not be the case if Joseph Carley ahead of where the Lions coach thought he'd be. So, uh, according to Lions safety coach uh, Brian Duker, Kirby Joseph already ahead of the game in his development. Quote, I would say Kirby is actually ahead of where I thought he'd be, to be honest with you. Duker told the media on the final opening day at OTAs, quote, I was, on, I was really uh, pleasantly surprised with him. With him, the biggest thing is just learning the verbiage. It's so much it's it's such it's so much bigger of a playbook than he was really used to. So now understanding all the calls that are really involved and kind of getting your toolbox together is something we talked about a whole bunch. Duker added that Joseph was always ready to work and he's always asking questions. Quote, Kirby's a great guy, man. Um, Walker told the media during minicamp. He always approaches his job every in every day, each and every day. He's always ready to work. He's always asking questions, which is great. He's very in tune to what he's going was going what's going on here. Duker made it clear that playing time is earned. Joseph will certainly have an opportunity to earn playing time in 2022. He said, quote, really go back to play time is earned. Duker's continued. Quote, so if he does a good job and shows he's really got value, we have a lot of packages. We got a lot of different things we can do. So if he earns that, he really has a good, he really has a good, let's say it's uh it's third down. And he can go up and get the ball. We want him to put in a bunch of DBs, defensive backs on the field. He's earned that spot. That would be a great opportunity for him. And I'd be really excited to see him get the opportunity to go and do that. We always really know, we always really knew he was really rangy safety, Duker said. Quote, he will play the, he'll be, he's playing the deep and the ball is in the air. And he's the same guy he was in college. He's awesome at that. He go gets the ball and now for us. Is how do you fit that uh, fit in the run in our run system? How do you play a bunch of a bunch bunches in our system? How do you do all those kind of things? He's done a really good job and is ahead of where I thought he'd be. So Kirby Joseph have, uh, has not even gone through NFL training camp yet, but it, it sure sounds like the Lions, Detroit Lions, are pretty happy to have him. Let's hope uh, Joseph develops into legit NFL safety. That is certainly one of the Lions' biggest weaknesses at this time. So. Um, I got a YouTube channel too much subscribe to that. So, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's all good in t shirt shorts, and shorts, but you know, I mean, he getting the verbers down. They put the pads on, that's what's gonna sell, separate him. Um, a lot of people don't expect him to beat the Sean Elliott out, let alone Tracy Walker after he got paid, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't expect him to beat those guys out, but if he do, he do, you know, if it's close, you go with the young guy. Simple as that. So, I mean, let's hope, you know, let's hope, you know, he rangy, but he, can he play the run, you know, you know, can he play the flats, you know, can he play the, 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 uh, can he rob, you know, can he play, you know, <clears throat> different down the middle zone, whatever, whatever you call it. He, he man to man on the back or on a slot receiver. We'll see. Can he tackle in space? You know, we, we will have to see. So, uh, yeah, and that's just things, the little things that you're looking for. Um, but if he can do a lot of those little different things, man, it's 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 going to be it's gonna be great. So, you know, 
But that's what they need more of a run. But if he can tackle, it's a wrap. You might as well go ahead and throw him, throw him out there. If if he can tackle, go ahead and put him out there. You know, if he can tackle, you know, and, and, and understand the verbiage, you know, and just be disciplined, that's cool. But they was looking for a rangy safety while letting Tracy Walker, you know, play the box. That's exactly what they was looking for. That's exactly what they was looking for. That's exactly what they was looking for. Real rangy type of dude. Uh you know, that can that can go get the ball, ball hawk. So, so that's that's exactly what they was looking for. So yeah, you know, one of the guys I like coming into the trade here. A lot of bottom. I like the kid out of Penn State. I was hoping they get him. So we'll see how it all work out. By the end of this season, the next season, the going future, people won't have an idea if the Pistons Lions got it right or not. So it's a lot of different matchups in there. A lot of people gonna get into Kobe Dean and pass it up on him, and <clears throat> some of the receivers they passed up on Johan Dotson, and you know some of the, the safety they passed up in Penn State, and you know for Pascal. So we're gonna see it kind of, you know, see kind of where you know everything lie at. So it's gonna be very very interesting on that aspect, but. Let's end off on Aiden Hutchinson. All right, so they saying that Aiden Hutchinson has been all bid as Aiden Hutchinson pressing Detroit Lions teammates and coaches already. So all we hope that translates to shoulder pads and into regular season. So same thing for Kirby Joseph. But um, it says uh, Ed Williard shot to him. Allen Park, Michigan, with high expectations placed on him. A. Hutchins arrived at the Detroit Lions practice facility the day after being drafted number two overall. His family accompanied him as well as he strolled around the building, soaking in the moment. Michigan is still trying to process the motion of beginning his career in his home state. Uh, but after going through OTAs and rookie mandatory minicamp this offseason, it isn't the hype that's standing out to coaches, teammates, and members of the Lions organization. It's a serious approach to trying to uh, and trying to successfully transition from all American and Michigan to becoming a valuable NFL rookie. He's been all business. I told my wife last night, I was like, you know, what's great about him is he's quietly getting better right in front of us. He doesn't say anything. He listens. Lion coach Dan Campbell said during mini camp, you know, he's like a sponge in there. He's absorbed the information. He watches how things are done and the way coaches want, want, it done, want them done. And then he goes, he, he's got a motor and he goes, he learns and gets better every day. You just see it. So I love that about him every day. There's growth right in front of us. Hutchinson lockers right next to defensive end. Uh, Jay Sean Cornell, former Ohio State star, like many of his teammates, Cornell observed him closely during the offseason to see if the attention in the high draft pick was warranted. Oh, he showed me his ability. I was like, you've got to prove it to me with how good you are as a pass rusher. During the second and third practice, I'm like, you're legit, Cornell said. Quote, he can pass rush from the inside, outside. He's a real legit player. He showed that he's ready for this league, and I think Aiden is great for the defensive line. He added, he's on he's on this stuff 24-7. I feel like as a rookie, you come in and you get that fat playbook, and it's all shown, thrown at, one, at you at once, and he's shown that he's ready and he's prepared. So... So helping what helps uh, Aiden Hutchinson early on is being able to learn from a diverse coaching staff of former players, which include defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn, defensive line coach Ty Wash. He's also seeing how the veterans work in the locker room, such as outside linebacker Charles Harris, defensive lineman Michael Brockers, nine-year vet with the Rams, and the Lions have been impressed by the rookie said he was blown away by Aiden Hutchinson's six foot seven, two hundred sixty-four uh, pound frame. And sees him fitting into the Lions system seamlessly. Quote, he's got to keep getting better. He's just going to keep getting better. And uh, and that's the scary thing about him, Brocker said. Quote, he's a guy who's ready to learn. He's like a sponge. He'll pick up everything. He has his own little niches about him. But I'm very excited to have him on this D, on this team and on this D-line. So despite the positive early impression Hudson is, st is still learning the pro game some years of improvement Campbell would like to see from him Hudson are adjusting to the strength and speed of the game but overall 
Hudson is impressed as he uh, impressed as he prepares for his first NFL training camp. He said, "Quote: I'm excited for the season." Hudson told ESPN. Obviously, you can't predict wins, but right now we've got the the right chemistry for success. So you hear that all the time about uh, you know predict the wins and how we feel good in training camp and how we could turn around and um and, and do this and do that. So they just gonna have to show me as far as from the team success. But I believe everything. I believe everything they saying about uh. I believe everything they saying about about A. Hutchinson. So, uh, so it's gonna be interesting. And coming from Ohio State guy, and Jason Cornell, where he says you gonna have to show me, and then him turning around and showing him that he really good. So we'll see. You know, obviously gonna be added up to uh, Kayvon Kibido and you know uh, what's my man that went number one overall. Um, Trayvon uh, and what's that dude's name? I forget this dude's name. I forget the guy, the guy's name, man. But uh, oh man, I don't know how I forget this dude's name. But y'all know the dude from uh from Georgia. He went number one. It was a surprise. But he gonna be uh measured. Trayvon Walker. He's gonna be measured up to those guys. So we'll see, man. But I I believe everything he's saying, man. If he helped the pass rush and the run stopping ability and move around. You got remember early in Michigan, he played on the inside, so. Um, so if he can help, if he can help those, uh, if he can help those, you know, help them in the pass rush department and run stop department, um, yeah, he, he gonna be a problem. He gonna be a, a real true problem. So I was just looking from him, you know, can he grow into that part of drafting him over Kibbutz was his, his character and his leadership. So that's the thing about it. You know, that's the thing about it. So his character, his character and his leadership. You know, if he can bring those things, he can play football, you know. You know, yeah, he can play football, but can he be a leader? And that's what we've been missing. You know, that's what we've been missing. Is leadership. You when Calvin and all them was here, you know, that's what we missing. That's exactly what we missing. So, uh, you know, but that's exactly what we missing. So, so I mean. Yeah, I think he's gonna have an impact. I think he might drop a little bit when they go to three or uh, front three four. <clears throat> I think he's gonna rush on the inside. And you know, I don't think anybody I don't think anybody's concerned about Aiden Hutchinson. You know, but I do think Kirby Joseph is a wild card. You know, if he can come in, he can play. I don't really think anybody believes in Deshaun Elliott. I have never heard of the guy, to be honest. So um so we we waiting on, on on see what happens there, but with Deshaun Elliott. So let me pull him up. I never heard of him. I ain't the biggest. Uh, you no, know, so he from Dallas. Uh, he went to Texas. What, what pick was he? He was a six round pick. That's probably why. Uh, See, we see his stats. So he don't have no stats. Now in the NFL, what is the pro the football stats? NFL.com sucks. So, so he's been in the league a few years. He played and started 16 games 2020. So yeah, four pass defense, two forced fumbles, two and a half sacks, 80 combined tackles, 51 solo. Three tackles for loss, and then he went to playing uh, six games the previous year. So, I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bet on him. You know, I wouldn't bet on him. So, I have to wait and see. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check Detroit Lions so I playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video. 
Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Um, yeah, hit my link tree. You can check me out on Twitch, Twitter. I mean, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo. Link tree is the first link in the description. Let me know what you girls and guys think. And once the Pistons, for AC, and Summer League open with, then y'all know it's all gas, no breaks on the Detroit Lion talk. So, but other than that, man, appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.